and good morning my friends we are in the town of Urbis Tondo and it's meant to be a bit of a surf village in the north um, an overpriced one at that I got a coffee this morning and it was basically just Australian prices and the accommodation here could not find anything budget friendly it's very ex whoa it's very expensive have a look at this mangoes is that a mango tree yes is it Oh my god, I've never seen a mango tree. I would eat one, but these are like really squashed. But um, is there any, can you see any fresh ones? All right, if I find a fresh mango, I will eat it. Hold on, what's this one? Nah, it's rotten. Is that all right? That's shit. No, nah, this one's all right. Oh, that's gay. It's a ripe mango. All right, <laughs> I reckon we eat it. Come down to this cafe. All right. See if, there's, see if there's any more. Right, we're gonna actually go eat this. Um, hopefully it's not rotten on the inside, but it feels pretty good. Can I have one of these knives? Yeah. I found a um, I found a mango on the tree. Do you reckon I can eat it? I can. He doesn't like me, does he? What about you? You're nicer. Oh, I'm just gonna eat. Oh shit! There you go. The Orbis Tondo Beach. But this is what we're here for. We're here to cut up the mango. Where should we cut it? Just here. here. Yeah, yeah, just here. Okay. Probably should have washed it, that's all right. Mm -hmm. it's so juicy. What's that? I'm scared. <laughs> no, it just... Well, it's funny how like it just, it comes naturally off the tree, but I'm scared to eat it. But if it's from a fruit shop, comes full of chemicals, I feel like it's okay. That's my logic. But we're gonna try it anyway. Is it? Oh shit! <laughs> you always hurt yourself. All right. Why is it so gooey? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Should I? Yeah. All right. It, it doesn't look like it looks overripe. Oh, no, I'm scared. Will you eat it? I didn't try it. Alright, go. It's good. Is it? I don't know. I'm scared. I feel like it was planted. Hey, brother. I heard you're the champion surfer from this area. Yeah. Can you do some stuff for us? <laughs> you have to go back out. It's actually really dead down here. There's not much happening. You've got all these... You've got all these places here that aren't... Oh, well, where are you going? You've got all these places here that aren't even open. This, uh... Where... I was going to stay in this one here, the, the little surf maid. But it's just it's so expensive. Everywhere here is really expensive. And, you know, it is better than Dolomites Beach, but it's no Barakai. Barakai. How do you say it? Barakai. 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 How is the surf today? I'm still doing surf now. It's okay. It's okay? Yeah. It's a little bit small, yeah? Yeah, the small waves. You do the tattoos here? Yeah. Real permanent, tattoos or real fake? Permanent tattoos. Where? Where? You do it. You're the tattoo artist? Um, this guy. Another one. My co-artist. Oh, look at this. I could just get something like that. Mm, waves and the sun and the mountain. And it could say, it's more fun in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. Hashtag. Coffee, all right, and we're going to talk about this. It's a big life decision. Pick a nice. We'll think of saying okay. Maybe a word. Can you do yeah. script writing? So we're going to get a coffee from this beautiful establishment. Um, I didn't really want to get a tattoo off that guy. Nice enough guy, but I didn't really like his his line work. So don't want to get something that I regret. But there's another one just down there, so we might check that out rice coffee review let's see how we go that's good i'll give that a solid nine out of ten nine eight tell the camera eight out of ten eight out of ten 
one thing that's allowed here in the Philippines is the advertisement of cigarettes. That was outlawed in about 1997 back in Australia, and rightfully so. But here, it is absolutely allowed everywhere. If you can do that, you can surf. <laughs> All right, go. Oh. I don't think I'd be much better. Nah, nah, gonna, I'm not doing gonna it. Break your... I've already fallen over twice today. I'm not going to do it a third time. Show us how the pros do it. Oh, he's an expert. Oh my god, he makes it look so easy. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's good, man. There's not much happening around here. Um, trying to make this as interesting as I can but yeah it's it's a bit dead maybe, maybe we talk to this guy he's selling some stuff one of the famous vendors how much are they how much are they these ones do you want one as a souvenir how much are they Excuse me. 150. 150? 150. Especially for the girl, um, little girl selling us. Irap naman tadagot ng kinukuha yan. I like this one. This one's good. Whoop, oh, sorry. So he got weird. a bit scared there. Oh my god. We could have just slept here, hey? We wouldn't have had to pay for that expensive. Yeah, I would sleep here. Hold on. Take this. Let me test out the comfort. In case we want to stay another night. Yeah, this is doable. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Chilling. I could do that. <laughs> For one night, I reckon I could do that. No, mosquito's gonna beat you. And that's where Error Guard comes in. This is a product placement for Error Guard. This is a paid promotion. <laughs> Aerogard is a great Australian product and that's why I don't go anywhere without it. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> I don't have a sponsor for the channel, but if you'd like to sponsor, let me know. I'm also looking for someone in the Philippines to do some video editing and make some shorts and stuff out of my clip. So if you can do that, let me know in the comments or send me an email and yeah, we can connect. Egypt has the pyramids. Italy has the Colosseum. But the Philippines has Mabuan's vessel. Check it out. It's basically made of like old water bottles. You know, the big ones you get for the office. Yeah, and it's like some artwork structure, but we're gonna go inside, let's have a look. I also think there's some homeless people sleeping in here. Yeah. So we will go interview them, maybe. I've never seen anything like this. This is like their main a tourist attraction according to Google. What is it? <laughs> you can just walk through the whole thing. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool concept. Whoa. Hello, como esta? Is this your house? This yeah. is your house? <laughs> you come here. Hello, how are you? Wow. Sorry, sorry to wake you up. <laughs> you live. Oh. Ah, okay. He's taking a nap from his oh. work. Oh, you you work on the construction site. Yes, sir. Ask what they're building. <laughs> yeah, soon <laughs> to. <laughs> yeah. Right. They're, they're building a resort. Okay. What a restaurant. Problem. Okay, we'll keep having a look. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Looks like we've hit a dead end here. Yeah, it's not bad. Nice and shady. Oh, it's a, it's a resort being built. Yeah. Restaurant. restaurant. And you're the foreman. Huh? You're the Oh, congratulations. Awesome. Nice job, man. Nice, nice to meet you. Well, we're excited to see what it looks like once it's built. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Okay. So there you go. That's, that's the foreman. And uh, they're building a restaurant. But we found like a little shanty town or, or beach shack village 
uh, I'll show you that and we'll see if we can meet anyone who lives there. So I'm going to take you on an exclusive look at the new restaurant in Urbis Tondo that's being built. The foreman said we can have a look. So in a few years when it's built, you can come back and have a look at this video. Um, don't know if he said we can enter this construction site, but we'll have a look anyway. Got some render happening here with some Besser blocks. It's interesting how they, they build these. It almost looks like they're using sort of recycled blocks here, which is really good. But I don't know if they're going for that kind of effect or they just haven't finished. But there we go. That's the that's a restaurant. I thought I'd just give you a quick look at that. And but we'll go look at the little uh, shanty town that I found down here, little little beach shacks, and we'll see if we can maybe interview one of the locals that lives there. Hello, how are you? Can we come in, have a look? Can we? <laughs> I need my translator. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Okay, we've been in, invited in. Construction. Construction office. Oh, okay. Not not a house? Yeah, house. Not house? House. They just build it temporary so that they have some... Oh, it's temporary. Okay, they're not actually... Um, it's not actually someone's house. It's just the temporary work site. Hello. This is the quality of toilets they put up for the for the workmen. I don't know if I'd be too keen to try that. Is that your toilet? Yes, sir. Do you like using that toilet? Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, sir. He likes it. And this is where they have their their meetings and their cook-ups. Oh, yes, someone's on their hammock. Hey, brother. This is a little. Oh, I've got the red horse happening. Some rice. And then down here we've got some uh, more construction stuff. Hey brother, how are you? This is the lunchroom? Yes. The kitchen. The kitchen. And are you, are you allowed beers at lunchtime or after work only? After, after work only? Yeah, good guys, good, good guys. They're following all the, the good rules here. Oh, you got a, you got a, you got a rooster in your pants, mate. <laughs> Brother, can we go to the main street? Main street, Yung Maramita. Thank you, man. Hello, how are you doing? Look at the gun. Probably shouldn't film the guys with the guns, but far out, they were huge. Been seeing them everywhere in the Philippines here. Um, security guards have them. I saw a chemist and a guy had a gun, like just to control the people trying to come in and out of the chemist. Let me tell you a little story about RC Cola. I actually really like this drink, but in Australia, a lot of people didn't like it. They called it really crap cola and RC Cola, as in like ass. Not very nice because it's one of my favorite drinks and it's huge here in the Philippines. Guys, we have upgraded the channel. I now have my own two security guards here. Let's have a look at this. Yep. Wow, you have a lot of security guards. A lot of security, you know. I just got How so much, much money do you have in your bank? Um, like five dollars. <laughs> Is it real gun? Toy gun. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Thank you guys, thank you. So I was just coming down this uh, footpath here and I found this field. And have a look what I found here. Hello mate. Hello matey. And this right here, I believe this is like the main strip here. Uh, we're gonna go check it out, see what they got. But it looks like they got a little beach bars and stuff everywhere. Some uh, surfing shops. Plenty of these. Hey, bro. How are you doing, man? Plenty of these uh, cool, cool tricycles. They're actually better than the ones you see in Manila. They're like really decked out and stuff. And 
and right here I've come up one of the laneways where there seems to be some uh, bars and stuff but there's not much happening because it's the daytime I guess it gets a bit busier at the night but we've seen plenty today I think I'll leave the vlog there I've got a bus ride I'm going to Angeles City I don't know anything about it except there's a lot of old how can I put it old white guys there with uh, young Filipino girls and lots of strip clubs I'm not going there for that I just want to check it out and uh, yeah I'll see you then yo 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 how's, how's, it, it? how's it going boys what up, what up? see you later yeah. see you later guys